Hello and welcome to Bar Rescue. Shit. I'm John Taffer. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, I'm your host, Michael Riley. With me is Billy Carter. I can't believe this crap in here. Oh my god! Look at all this. Just there's flies in the vodka. <laughs> Fruit flies. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta look in the mirror and look at yourself and say, "I'm a fucking idiot." <laughs> I love that guy. I know you are, but what am I? And there's Jason Amherst as well, by the way. We're just talking because I, I introduced I, I, I introduced the show's Bar Rescue. That's why we're, we're doing John Taffer impressions. I, uh, I, I, I had to fix voice I, mod. Oh. Are you at home today? Broke. Yeah, no, my, my car had to go in for an emergency repair. Oh, froze. wow. So you're at home today. Oh, yeah. shit. We might actually get three recordings done today. That would be great. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, Dane's uh, going to be along shortly, but let's let's get this wheel spun. We've already started the record, so let's spin this wheel and see what we're playing first. Show me potato salad. As I was saying before. Okay. <laughs> blibbity blabbity doo. That's, that's Konami. That's Konami. So that's 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 a good sign. It's probably sports. It isn't. Do, 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 do. Nope. It's uh, oh. Goemon. This um, is the the sequel. This is the. 3D 2D game. Yes. So, as I was saying earlier, uh, before we started recording, I was talking about this arcade that was in the town. Uh, the guy you would pay, he had free play on all his arcade games. Right. The guy was open. The guy was open up for nearly thirty years. Uh, you'd walk in. You'd pay ten dollars. Thank you, Jason. Uh, we and have five. We have five diarrhea cards, by the way. You can put that in there too if you want. Oh lord! And we had we had free run in place. Everybody loved it. It was it was great. I mean, in the arcades, it just wasn't like, oh, here's a bunch of ticket shooters. No, 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 no. Actually, those you had to pay for the ticket ones. Yeah. But all the rest of the things. You you had free reign. Uh, I mean, this guy had everything from Pong up to you know recent arcade releases in this place. He probably had Lord. I think he had about three hundred machines in the place. I think so, uh, the thing that sparked this discussion, I think, was the fact that um, somebody came into Billy's stream once and complained that he was playing on easy mode, which I refute. It's like, why play it on a mode that's going to frustrate the shit out? You play video games. Yeah, like, pl play a game the way you want to. Exactly. I mean, like, I, I freaking, I had to bump down the difficulty when playing uh, Jedi Fallen Order because I fucking suck at Souls likes, right. and it was pissing me the fuck off. And at that oh, point, so it's not I. fun. Can we just point out that this game is just name drop James Dean and Marilyn Monroe? That's kind of the humor that they use oh, yeah. in the translation of this game. I see. This is also a direct sequel to the third Goemon game, I think, on uh, the Super Nintendo. Well, there was also an one on the N64 right before this yep. called Mystical Ninja. Right. But it has nothing to do with that one. This one is actually a direct reference to the... Uh, I, I actually was watching Tiffany play this because, uh, yep, there's the villain, Bismaru. Ah. She was the villain in the third Goemon game, I think. It's supposed to be a long lost, like, future descendant of Ebisumaru. It. Who apparently was a Catholic oh, no. nun. But yeah, you play video games, uh, though, ever, however you want. Don't yeah. let anybody influence you. If you want to cheat, cheat. If you want to, oh, yeah. if that's the way you that you love playing games, do it. That's the way I like doing it. I you like having what? a I fun mean, time with my friends. That's what I'm playing. That's what it does. This, this fucking show is about. You you'd enjoy WrestleQuest because there are literally options that you can turn on and off when you want. Uh, you can uh, get rid of all the quick time prompts. So right. that you don't have to worry about those. You can max out your defense. You can, uh, or uh, your offense, that you do nine 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 damage, no matter what. Right. And you can even uh, 
you can even make yourself invulnerable to all attacks. It's it's amazing. Oh it's no, like... Comic Sans. <laughs> the font of the nineties. Um, when I, when I was telling Mike, this guy comes in and he starts complaining because I had invincibility on while playing 1942, which is my favorite uh, shooter series. No, like, go and, go ahead and cry more, you freaking online baby. Like, you know. Yeah, basically. I, yeah, and the thing is, and the thing is, the reason why I do that. Are, are you going to complain because... that an arcade has their game set to free play? Oh, yeah. the game should be set to free play. Then you can just unlimitedly add credits and so you can beat well, the game. So here's the thing. It's like it, it turned into a discussion about how the uh, arcade games are difficult on purpose because they're quarter munchers. But see, yeah. the thing is, is if an arcade is on yeah. free play, should it really be that difficult? Because you can play it as much as you want. I mean, yeah. Honestly, with like modern day emulated arcade games, I just leave them on uh, their default medium difficulty, which is usually pretty difficult to begin with. And uh, I just, uh, you know, enter as many credits as I need until I beat the game. As long as it has that which feature, me, other games don't have that. Which, oh God! Which yeah, me, I, which me, it's about it's about seven hundred coins. <laughs> when 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 Tiffany was playing this, she struggled with those freaking spinny bars too. You need okay. to be able to like. Ah, uh, almost. Oh, you you got it a lot faster than she did. <laughs> yeah, I I kind of figured I, I'm kind of figuring out the mechanics as I go here. Yeah, there's there's a side quest you have to do to progress in the game. Whoop that requires you doing those spitty bars and it's a pain that's just getting it's just getting the height correctly on them is the biggest yeah, issue. like getting the right release yeah with the right speed so did you see the cr oh sorry jace what 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 did i see did you see gura singing take me out to the ball game Oh yeah, no, I've Did I've seen see that. I've seen the uh, I've seen the. Uh, she must have had a twenty four hour bardic inspiration spell because she only helped them win that game. <laughs> <laughs> they were losing the game all I the way up until she sang night? "Take Me." Uh, no, it was Hollow Live Dodgers Night. It was specifically Hollow oh, Live wow. Night. Yeah, like they straight up wow. had full blown everything. Like they had ah. a uh, drone show. Set to the music of the Hollow Live Girls. Oh, I saw that. Uh, it was Gura, Pekora, and Suise. Yeah. Although I don't think that that will top the fact that during Anime Expo, Mint Phantom sang freaking "Break Stuff" by Limp Bizkit. <laughs> I like Mint. I like her. I mean, it's kind of a no shit when she you know went. who Mint used to be. Yeah. Ah, you know, piss. Oh, you know, she she left the uh, the black ship, the black yacht. Sanji. Kuro Sanji, or 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 Niji Kuro, whatever people want to call it. Sink the yacht. Sink uh, the I'll yacht. Wait. Oh, come on, spin, spin wasn't, around. Wasn't um. There we go. Was it Doki Bird? Doki Bird too? was also part of them, but oh, she was shit. like openly fired by them for no reason. It, after she got fired, then things with the contract started coming out, and who makes me glad that I never applied to work for them. Ah, piss. Oh, yeah, and Konami decided to do with this game something that they did in Castlevania a day night cycle hard. where it gets harder. Hence That's those what I creepy just said. grinning things. Well, it's it's good you're getting your practice in on these things now because like there's a side quest later God on in the it. game that's necessary to progress in the game, and you're gonna have to be able to use these things. Come on. <laughs> you, come on. You can do it. 
Come on. Spin around it, you butt. Come on. Err. Come on. Yeah. It, it's just crazy, though, that, you know, Dodgers had a freaking night dedicated to Hollow Live. There we go. Where we got to see the union of. <laughs> and. Fuck it. <laughs> also, they made like a lot of announcements for like new uh, merch at uh, Anime Expo. They're making a Max Factory Calliope Mori statue. Ooh! Oh, it is freaking awesome. Like I loved the, uh, I, I loved the one that they did for Marine, but the Max Factory ones uh -huh. are so expensive. They're like freaking several hundred bucks. So it's oh, like, geez. yeah, but they also announced pop-up parade uh, for uh, Fuamoko, uh, Nendoroid for Fuamoko, uh, Nendoroids for all of uh, Hollow Promise uh, from EN, and uh, even some brand new Nendos for some of the existing girls, uh, but with different outfits. God, I love the weird ass music in this game. It's so cartoony. Saturday morning in Japan. <laughs> That's the easiest way to describe Goemon's vibe. Saturday morning cartoons in Japan. Speaking of Saturday morning cartoons in Japan, Billy, have you seen Kanikuman yet? Kanikuman? Episode zero of the new uh, Kanikuman series I've is on Kinikuman Netflix. Before. No, the the new Kanikuman. Oh, I must have died. Oh, okay, I don't have Netflix though. Oh yeah, episode zero just dropped, which is a uh, uh, basically a speed run in Kanikuman lore to catch you up on the story leading into this new storyline. That's being animated by oh. Production IG, the same people who did Ghost in the Shell and Kaiju Number Eight. Okay, okay. Uh, now here it was muscle. Okay. Yeah, the toys the were toys muscle and everything. Yep. And it's amazing because we never got the anime. We got Ultimate Muscle, I mean, which was the muscle, like, which was his grandkid. Sequel. Yeah, the sequel series. Son. Or son, yeah. He's his son. Well, up on Muscle Planet, now, on the mask they hid, the face of our new champion. The king there had a kid, 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 kid. Muscle has the power, but he's also kind of nuts. <laughs> and this if we, and if we don't universe, stop this talk, I'm going to shove it up my ass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Four yeah, kids said, and their like, goofy cow, ass theme songs. Cow, cow. <laughs> Yeah, the freaking, right, the freaking meat right, and rice right, bowl song. Cow, cow, cow. Cow, cow. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, no, it is kind of cool that we are getting a legit Kanika Man one, and this is a dark show. There is lots of blood. Oh my god, these flashbacks, Ooh. you're just going, oh my god. <laughs> Kanika Man was so censored for America when four kids did their version for Ultimate Muscle. Yeah, I mean, I'd like to have the uncensored version. Well, maybe we'll be getting those down the line from Discotech Media, hopefully. Oh, cool. No, um, I mean, even if it was the four kid version, I, I liked it. I think the four kids one did get re-released. I'm pretty sure that that got like, re-released from Discotech. It was, I, I mean, I, I look at it and I'm like, it was wrestling. Yeah. It was strange wrestling. But how many wrestling cartoons were out around? But that that, time? that show straight up made fun of '90s wrestling, like on point, because they had freaking like oh, the, the, DMP, the DMP, who were clearly the NWO. Yeah. And, and the thing is, I saw some of these older characters that they had uh, shown, you know, like sunspot and stuff like this and the thing yeah. is he had no idea who these people were yep i mean they were talking about his dad and i had absolutely no idea that there was no nah, they show. just kind of threw you in the deep end prior 
Same thing with the yeah. English dub for Ultraman Tiga. Like, they just kind of threw you in the deep end without explaining anything. Well, I understood because I had I had Japanese neighbors. I knew a little bit about yeah. Ultraman, but I mean, like, it was all by proxy stuff. Yeah, I I, I, I had Japanese neighbors when I was yeah. a little kid. And, I always uh, saw, like, bits and pieces of this stuff, like, around my town because we've got the sister city in Japan. Yeah, they moved from Japan to here. For whatever yeah. reason, and this kid that I became friends with had all these VHSs of that he brought from Japan, and he had Ultraman, Super Sentai, Common Rider, <laughs> just all of these shows. All right, so I was yeah, seeing, yeah. so I saw Zoo Ranger before it became Power Rangers. Yeah, yeah. And when it's here, I'm like, hey, that's, you know, and, and I'm like, oh, they changed it. Oh, this is the same footage. See, I knew what they did back when I was yeah. a kid. <laughs> and I was like, oh, this is different. And I, uh, you know, Ultraman I had always known about because oh, uh, the show, the series got released here. Or yeah, released yeah. Here too. Speaking of uh, speaking of Tokusatsu, have you seen the first episode of uh, my dear friend Nokotan yet? Chica Noko Noko Noko. Wait, no. Why am I even doing that? Chica Noko 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 there's there's a straight up common rider reference early on, and I was like, I approve. Anime of the season right here. <laughs> she goes like, is she a mutant from some sort of evil organization? And the like the subtitle shows up on the screen. Like, and I was just like, this is too funny. <laughs> okay, All right. what was okay, what was that? Um that uh Thoughts on uh, Goemon? Thoughts right? on Goemon's Great Adventure. Yep. Jason. You know what? This was a return to form because I wasn't a huge fan of the 3D environment uh, in uh, Mystical Ninja 64. Having it go to a like 2.5D like this uh, felt very natural because it was similar to that like what do they refer to that down like top not top down but like three quarter view isometric i guess isometric well not really isometric because it was still side scrolling but like kind of like uh you know legend of zelda it's not quite top down but it's not quite like you know it's sort of an angle but yeah like you know this this was like being able to see this in proper 3d but playing like the 2d games I found this one a lot more fun, even if some of the mechanics were a little tough to work out, like the timing on the spinning bar thingy. Oh, man, this one time I fucking farted on Mike Riley's face. Uh, it was really cool. Okay. And then I, I took a diarrhea dump on Billy's cat. And, oh, and no, also... Bella. That poor old... Yeah. Also... kind of sounded like that. It did sound like that, right. Also, Goemon's Great Adventure. I I'm gonna assume it was very good. Uh, Billy, oh, Billy, yeah. Billy, thoughts on it? I like Goemon. I like uh, the lore behind Goemon. Um, I like everything about this character, and uh, this game is really good. Yeah, it's uh. Yeah. It's not too bad. It's it's fun to play. It's fun to control. Uh, the 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 spinning mechanic on the bars is kind of annoying, but that's really the only bad thing about it. Honestly, uh, it's a, it's a fairly competently put together game. Well done, Konami. Scores out of ten, Jason. Uh, solid eight. Billy. Uh, solid eight. I'll give it an eight um, as well. Um, 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 how many ummers? Uh, I give it a ten. Well, what the hell? I'm not asking. <laughs> I didn't ask you for a score because you weren't here for the gameplay. I don't ask anybody who's not here for the gameplay of their score. But I'm, 
but I'm here now. It's a picture of going on staring at the, the camera. Yeah, you're you're thing. here now, but you missed the segment, so there's nothing you can do. I'm sorry. That's how it works. You can't give a fair assessment of a game if you didn't see it. <laughs> well, as Rocco's Modern Life says, you can't fight City Hall. <laughs> you can't, can't fight, fight corporate, corporate America. Yeah, no, this this seems to be a musical episode with all the uh, things we just randomly burst out into song for. All right, we're going to spin this bad boy again and see what we get. Oh, well, wouldn't yeah. you know it, the very f as soon as he gets in here, it lands on Dane's Choice. Pick a game, Dane. Yeah. Um, let's see. I'm going to pick Gex 3 Deep Cover Gex. I actually had a feeling you might pick that one. Yeah. <laughs> hey, it's the, those guys. I forget their names. Uh, Crystal Dynamics. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I actually have an enamel. Did they get uh, sold off to uh, Microsoft like recently? In the yes, yes, I believe they did, Jason. Yeah. Yeah, because they also were uh, providing uh, support on developing the uh, uh, Perfect Dark game as well, I believe, which we finally got to see at uh, Summer Game Fest. You see, the only the only problem with the N64 version of these Gex games, as opposed to the PlayStation version, not as much Dana Gould stuff. Yeah, so you heard a lot of the same things over and over again. Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> the crazy thing is, Gex has ridiculous lore if you look inside the instruction manuals. Well, there was a... I forget if it was the first or the second game where the big bad evil guy... It's like, no, wait, I'm, I'm, I'm your father. And oh, Gex I is am just your like, father, yeah, in the original game, I think. And Gex is just like, mm, that's a Star Wars thing. Yeah. Mm. You, know what I, you know what I heard? This is just a rumor that Conker's Bad Fur Day is going to get released on the Switch for 17 Plus. Well, there is that 17 uh, Plus app, so. What is this? Full motion video in a fucking N64 game? She's pretty. It's Agent Extra. Mm -hmm. Oh, is this the? This is the game where you play against the um, the Hulk Hogan slash Stone Cold Steve Austin rock hard said so. He farts. <laughs> he farts. There's a remote up there. Yeah. Uh, oh, I see. She was portrayed by Marlise Andrada. Interesting. Uh, but she was played <coughs> by different actresses in France and Germany for uh, Gex 3. Uh -huh. I want to know, is, is there nude photos of her? Um, well, she was actually Sky in Baywatch. Hmm. So Okay, but is there nude photos of Probably. <laughs> you didn't answer my question, Jace. I don't uh, think you're listening to me. Hold on a second. I th is there... Uh, there's not subtitles. That seems like an oversight. Yeah, she was the uh, she was the Playboy Playmate, uh, Miss March 1998. Uh, well, there we go. That's all I needed so to know. So there you go. Yeah, you know, if you if you need to know about like any time you wanted to see a celebrity's tits, you just need to ask the uh, convenience store guy from uh, Family Guy. Yeah, you know, he knows about all of those. Uh, did, did, you, <laughs> did you know? Did you ever see Friday the Thirteenth Part Five? Full on boobies. It's true. Look it up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And that one hot golf chick is in that movie, too. And the one that does that weird dance. 
Which apparently, if I remember correctly, she improvised that entire dance. Mm -hmm. It wasn't bad. No. She died. I was like, ah, oh, dang it. I mean, I knew she was going to die, but. I mean, they were all just kind of meat bags for Roy. A stifle meat bag. Because remember, folks, it wasn't Jason. It was Roy. Yeah. Roy's our boy. But, you know, am I the only one, though? Because, like, at the end of that movie, it's like, wait a second. There were some points where Roy, where Roy had that Jason Hulk strength. Are we trying to say that yeah. Roy was, was pretty fucking jacked? Roy! Well, he was a paramedic. You gotta remember that. And those guys have to be in some shape to do what they do. I, uh... Not that I want to toot my own horn, but I remember the first time I watched that movie when the, uh... I, Whatever that kid's name was. The, 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 you want some chocolate? The one that gets axed in the back by the psycho guy? The mentally handicapped dude? Well, I I don't think he was mentally handicapped for a sec. But like... Or, or the autist. It turned out that was Roy's son. And yeah. like... Roy gives this really like angry glare at the camera. And it's like, gee, I wonder if he's the killer. Wow. I just I just read a story that is entirely believable because of who's in it. Okay. Essence Jenai went on TikTok to claim that Hulk Hogan allegedly canceled her brand ambassador contract with Hogan's Real American Beer after realizing she was black. I, you know that checks out. So she was told the rest of the events were canceled, only to see the next day she was replaced with white women. Oof. Yeah, I, I just responded to a friend of mine on Facebook with, "Doesn't surprise me given the stories about him over the years." I just, I just don't want him near my, my daughter, brother. Brother, 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 do, brother, brother, brother. Brother, brother, do, brother, 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 do, brother, 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 do, brother, 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 do. I'm a Ramstein. No. I'm a Ramstein song. <laughs> I, I just thought that, uh, you know, people could say that, brother. You know, like how other people call people brother. You know, I, I thought that I had a pass. Just because Booker T called you the N word doesn't mean you can say it. Yeah. Doesn't, yeah, it it doesn't, doesn't the pass. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely does not. <laughs> <laughs> you don't you don't have the past to give out, Billy. <laughs> you're a Jewish you you're about? a white Jewish guy from Ohio. <laughs> I'm I am multicultural. Uh-huh. He's one eighth chair. <laughs> if you so say I, I, I'm, I, it, I'm actually I'm actually part black too. I'm not joking. <laughs> Listen, one eighth of Billy could say, "Get off of my lap." <laughs> yeah, Billy's part, part American. Billy's, too. Billy's part black, but not the part that counts. <laughs> no, that part does count. Yeah. Actually, I'm more Native American than you guys actually think. Oh. my great grand my great grandfather was half. <laughs> he was he was part of the Smackdown tribe. He was Mama's just he was just half. He wasn't half Cherokee. He was just half. They cut off his legs. Oh uh, no! He, yeah, he wasn't half Cherokee either. He was Lakota. <laughs> north of South Dakota. <laughs> well, uh, they cut off his legs, so North Dakota. <laughs> 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 so I said he's half. <laughs> so uh, time of this recording, uh, <coughs> boy, was Saturday full of concussions or what? Oh, Kinda. I'm actually watching it right now. Oh, Money in the Bank, uh, yeah. Uh, Money in the Bank, yeah. Which at this, you know, Seth Rollins should be champion. 
By the way, this this is airing, I believe, three or four days before SummerSlam. So, <laughs> well, God damn it! So well, this is so we're not. I, get I am really looking forward to CM Punk versus Drew, Drew McIntyre. God damn it! Why am I not hitting that platform? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it's it's kind of interesting because now. Seth Rollins' rivalry with Punk has been reignited because Punk screwing over McIntyre screwed over uh, Rollins as well because Rollins can't challenge for Damian Priest's belt again. Whoops. Oh, thanks for... Never mind. It doesn't matter. Oh. I mean, it's kind of obvious that that was going to happen because yeah. McIntyre did say that if he won, he was cashing in that night. That's true. And... It was the last match on the card, so anytime a car a match is last match on the card, you always know. Shenanigan! 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 That's true. That is. But that is uh, really true. I think it was either Tomatonga or Tonga Loa, whichever one wasn't dressed to wrestle that night, uh, went head first into the table, into the announce desk, and clearly was concussed out of it but needed to get his shit together for the finish and the alternate angle who boy <laughs> he had this look on his face when he tries to go for the low blow and misses of which way did he go george which way did he go the and when he lands the low blow he winds up clonking his brother in the head in the process yeah cuz he's in because, power uh, position <laughs> well well because let's face it Siblings share everything, even concussions, apparently. Yep. But meanwhile, on the alternate company, Marco Stunt ate a face full of turnbuckle and died that night. So. And nothing of value was lost. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, there was a yeah. lot of yeeting going on that night. You know, I mean, McIntyre yeeted a ladder. Uh, Marco Stunt got yeeted across the ring into a turnbuckle. I also so... want to point out, I believe Chelsea Green died for our sins as well. <laughs> yep. And Homelander just looked at her disapprovingly. Ah. Because of the promo for the boys you know, being right near did... the uh, table. God damn it. Yeah. How did um, AEW become um, Impact Wrestling? Because that's what it seems like it's turned uh, out. It's, it's easy. When they lost CM Punk and all the dirty laundry started coming out, and all of the ex-AEW guys who have either gone on to the indies again or WWE have been coming out going, boy, this company is run like a joke. Like the brand new NXT the champion as of, you know, the time of this recording, all ego Ethan Page. Yep. God damn it. Who, yeah. who was in a fatal four-way match featuring the chairman, Sean Spears, as well. You know, got to get that Canadian representation in because they were in Canada. All right. So I obviously have no idea what I'm supposed to do here. And he's uh, isn't there a long jump? I'd like fuck, you know, I don't know. Yeah, it's like a long jump. It's like a freaking jump kick. Okay, that type move. that doesn't help me. <laughs> yeah, if no, I don't, like, if I don't, so, that, that's... isn't it similar to like Mario's like long jump move? Kind of. There's got to be a way to like do Gex's jump kick. Like it's literally a rider kick type move. He jumps like with his foot and you know... tail out. There you go. You did it. There you oh, go. Is that literally how I do it? Okay. That's that's how See, you get that's, the distance. That's the issue is not knowing the controls. Oops, that's not the jump kick. Fuck. <laughs> you know, it's funny. A lot of these wrestlers now, they want to go to WWE now because Triple H is running out. Because it's a competently run company <laughs> again. And I'm liking what Triple H is doing. I was watching the beginning sequences of this pay-per-view and yeah. it looked like it was right out of the early 90s mm. and god late 80s. damn it there's uh <clears throat> you know there's a rumor actually like, that uh this uh direction for wwe as well like they might not bring back money in the bank next year even though it's popular because like this year it felt very forced because at least in the men's division 
their plans are pretty locked down and they didn't really need to have a money in the bank briefcase holder. Oh, they got it. Ah, no, piss. Like we, we already know like SummerSlam Gunther versus uh priest. Okay. Uh, Cody Rhodes still has the belt. Well, that's going to eventually lead to, you know, the bloodline and getting involved, we're, you know, we're, we're all, I think we're out of time with this particular segment. Almost. Almost. Oh dear. We still, we actually started a little late. A couple minutes got, late. Yeah, about, yeah, yeah, it was about five, 10 minutes. I had late. to install an yeah. update for uh voice mod because it was being a dick. Yeah, you're God not damn logged it. in. What do you mean I'm not logged in? <laughs> you're not logged in. Motherfucker. Do the fucking no, jump like, kick when I tell you to do it, Gex. I, I can't be myself properly unless I'm being able to press buttons mm. like... Okay. Yeah. Scatman. Son of a bitch. That was that was Fubuki doing Scatman. So apparently Ethan Page is the new NXT champion. Yep. Well, and, welcome, welcome to five minutes ago when Jace said that. And also <laughs> uh and also they ended Heat Wave with uh Joe Hen Joe Hendry. <clears throat> Mike, so I was not WWE? in the room. I was not in the room when he said this, so leave me alone. Uh, no, it was earlier when I was talking now. about how all the uh, AEW guys have been saying once they go back into WWE, oh. wow, this company is actually competently run. Fuck. Well, that's because they got the old Alzheimer curve out of the way. <laughs> you should have retired. What smells like shit? 20 your, fu uh, you, you your future your pants <laughs> you poop yourself <laughs> oh yeah you know the, the thing is they can't you know they just can't get rid of his they just can't okay in the company because you know stuff like that but uh did you like clip into that and get stuck oh am i stuck i At thought i thought i was supposed to, to i thought it was it's supposed to take me back. There we go. There we go. All right. Thoughts on Gex 3, Dane? Well, from what little we saw. I mean, I still like it. It's a very good game. I like the Gex series in general. Maybe you could play more of this in the future. Yeah. That's possible. Uh, Jason? Uh, I want to I see more of this in the future when the uh, Gex trilogy uh, hits. That's also a possibility. Uh, Billy. You know, I I like the Gex games. I mean, I've never really been a big fan of the 3D uh, ones. I mean, they're good, but I was I was a really a big fan of the 2D. Um, yeah, the 2D ones. I don't know. Okay. Uh yeah, it's it's fine. It's it very reminiscent of the uh the second game in the series uh which we played ages ago. Um I've never actually played this one, so this this was my first experience playing it. Uh I I really need to find, like read an instruction booklet to uh get some of the controls down better. But uh outside of that, yeah, it's it look, looks pretty good to me. Uh scores out of 10, Dane. 9. Jason. 9. Billy. Nine. What'd you say? Nine. Okay, I'll give it a nine as well. So I, we thought, can, I thought for we a can, second he said Tyne. Ty, yeah, that's what I thought he said too. It was Tyne. Tyne Daily. Awesome. All right. Last game of this episode. And since I said this earlier to, to the guys, Dane, but I think we're going to get a third done even if you're not a, around because Jason's at home today. Yeah, my okay. car my car had to have emergency repairs. Emergency. The uh the caliper seized on uh one side and needed brake work done. Okay, this could be good. South Peak, uh it's it's shovelware. Imagineer. 
it is oh, another. No. It is a sequel. I'm seeing South Peak and Imagineer, and I'm already afraid. Oh, Genki. Okay. Oh, Genki Deska. <laughs> Oh yeah, this was recently announced by uh, uh, Limited Run Games to also be getting a re-release. Nice. Fighters so, Destiny Duology is coming out. Yeah. Or collection. The, yeah, the first two, the only two games. <laughs> which apparently started off as a pitch to Sega for a 3D Streets of Rage that they turned down. It is very obvious in the first game that it is supposed to be Streets of Rage. <laughs> but yeah, we played the first one uh, ages ago, on, uh, way long ago, actually, on the show. Um, uh, what well, feels like way long ago. It, it doesn't does. feel too long ago. But uh, we actually really enjoyed the first one. Yeah. Now we're going to play this one. Oh, boy. Yeah, play it. Oh wait, no! It's Fighting Force, not Fighters. Fighters Destiny. Never mind. Fighters Ooh, Destiny is the fighting game. <sighs> My it's asshole. Nude Anna. What's nude Anna? What is nude Anna? Hey, Dennis Rodman. Hmm. Who's wait? Dennis Rodman? Where? You keep passing by him. D dog. D dog. <laughs> they didn't even hide it. I thought that was random. Never mind. All right. Uh, we got Saeki. Sayori. 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 Uh, I don't know. Ninja. Pierre. Because my bladder is mm. empty. <laughs> uh, it's supposed to be Piero, a clown, but okay. Uh, I, I say be Dennis Rodman. Why not? Uh, yeah, why not? Right. You know, Wolfpack for life! Ready? Was he in Wolfpack? I can't remember. He was I, black I and white. Now. Yeah, I think it was just okay, black and white. Okay, he was black and white. Uh, you know. Either way, it's kind of funny that there are two fighting game characters inspired by him. Listen, this and if, in Dead or Alive. If Shaq Fu can be in a fighting game. <laughs> I, I have the beat em up on freaking PC too. I just never played it. Sweet. Yeah, this is a huge step up from that first one. But, yeah, I'm remembering now just how generic these titles were between Fighters Destiny and Fighting Force. Oh, shit! <laughs> That's fucking drilled him. Damn. I think you killed him. Oh, wait, he's good. He damn! Wait. That what there fellow wow. looked like Why, am I, dang. Why am I saying it? He damn! There we go. All right. I think we found the uh, trick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Grab him. <laughs> Winrar. I like the loser window. <laughs> the loser window. <laughs> Versus Zeke. Superior German science. My last name is Hyle. Oh, oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, he landed on his feet. Oh, he landed on his feet again. Oh, How do you feel? Fart a fruity, fruity, fruity booty. Oh, he's a big old fruit booty. <laughs> Wait, are you in? Oh, no, I don't even know how to booty ball fruit loops. Oh, that's... oh Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, oh, like it took him a second to register that he was falling off of the thing. <laughs> he, he was just going. He's got a whole bag of jelly beans. Oh, up. shit. Get fucked, Zeke. Right on your G fucking head. C-T-E! 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 In fact, that's the G name of it. It's, the, it's the C-T-E driver. 
<laughs> I was yeah. trying to find the, um, oh. the AI summarization thing to turn it off, but I can't find her. Oh. I It took me a while to find it, but once I found it, I was like, oh, thank God. Settings and privacy, then you hit settings. Okay, let me can't let find look at uh, it real quick on my phone. Can't find audio. Oops, oops. Settings and privacy, settings. Uh, then there's a whole section, uh, audience and visibility. Hmm. So uh, you go down to stories, no, not stories, uh, posts, and then you can shut off. Show content summaries on posts. So no, thank you. I do not want to boil a lake every time I go looking at things on Facebook. Yeah. All right, this is going to be wild. Boil a lake? Yeah, because of AI. Are you making a whole lot of ramen? You No, it's <laughs> you AI generated to, like in order to cool the <clears throat> processors that run like the search engines and crap that do these AI featured assisting yada yada, the amount of energy that they're using and the amount of like liquid that they ah, need piss. to cool it. Oh, she, she threw me down and then jiggled her breasts, breasts at the sky. Look at this. Coochie, coochie, coochie. Yeah, baby. <laughs> what do you expect from coochie, coochie, Brazil? Girl. She is Charo the fighter. Charo, Charo, the Charo, the big titted woman. Welcome to Brazil. Welcome to Brazil. I, I, didn't, re I, 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 I didn't realize I was going to be. Kuchi, kuchi, I didn't kuchi. realize I was going to be having a fight with Sofia Vergara. <laughs> <laughs> it's reminding me of that Family Guy joke. Ra -ta -ta -ta. Ra -ta -ta -ta. Yeah, uh, isn't this supposed to be bad? I got a point for Sofia Vergara. I, 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 I would, I would, I would, yeah, I'm not going to go anymore. <laughs> is, it in, is it in Ed O'Neill's contract that he just has to have a hot wife every time he's in a show? Yeah. <laughs> I think so. I think so, too. Yeah, you know, ta ta that. <laughs> you know, I'm a little confused. I'm a little confused, Peg. I was repulsed by you, but you were really smoking hot. It was her personality. Ah, cock. She had the personality of a cock. You're right. <laughs> well, you are what you eat. Oh. <laughs> you know, I'm just You're noticing chicken. looking at, like, the uh, games on the wheel that they've been going in reverse alphabetical order starting at Goemon. Is that true? Goemon's Great Adventure. Gex Goemon. 3. Because Dane picked it, and then Fighter's Destiny 2. I see. Boom! GGF. I, I, just took, I just took the point lead. I just need two more points. The CTE trigger. The C <laughs> Papaya! Papaya! See ya. Oh, uh -huh. Papaya. Uh -huh. Yeah, shake your breasts at that. Papaya, 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 papaya. Papaya. I'm gonna send your ass back to Carnival. Hey. <coughs> Get up. Oh. Look at that huge pair of ers she has. Aha. Uh -huh. The huge pair of geese she has. <laughs> <Bonkers. Eyes. laughs> huge pair of geese. Oh. So... Should have had a howl noise. <laughs> All right, I am facing Kate. 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 Hmm. <coughs> Denis Rodman. Um, me meanwhile, uh... what the dog doing? Yeah, what the dog doing? <laughs> <laughs> See ya. She just walked off the edge. Yeah. Why, why are you beating up uh, the princess? She cha she cha Kate? Listen, she challenged me, all right? I have to defend my honor. Love the random clouds of blood in the air upon impact. She called me a tacky has-been transvestite, and nobody calls me a has-been. 
Um, <laughs> I may be tacky, and I may be a transvestite, but, but I am not, not a. Husband. I am not a whatever the third thing was you said. <laughs> I may be tacky. I may have killed seven nuns. Um, I, I lost my train of thought. I'm not cringe. I'm pretty base. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Kate. Uh, where's your plus eight? Hey, uh, hey, Billy. I just got to grab her. There we go. Billy, All right, I guess Billy's we'll never distracted. Billy, 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 Billy died. Yeah. Billy died. What? 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 <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Billy, 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 Billy. Also, also, Dane, eventually I want to get your reaction to this freaking anime because, my God, it is just an acid trip Shit. and I am loving it. And what anime with this? The anime that features... I have a bad case of diarrhea. I have a bad case of diarrhea. <laughs> <laughs> It, it is. That's what it reminded it me is. of. Was Zuki in English? <laughs> <laughs> I have that kiss of that, I remember that. I commercial. too feel. I too feel awful about being in this negative space park. Beesh. <laughs> uh, Kate kicked my ass, man. Kate just kicked your ass. This be an she, she must have been. She must have learned some sweet fighting skills down in Monaco. Sure. Sure. Yeah. The only thing that I am going to say <laughs> is, is rather give, post is a it gif it. of it. The only thing I'm going to say is bunt cake. And I posted the gif of it, and I will just let oh, you wow. guess what it's about based on that gif. <sighs> a deer that fucks Scooter. I, I like how Dane went. When, when, when. <laughs> I like how Dane. That's it. <laughs> Holy crap! Yeah, Kate she, just freaking how he gets. He yeah, rolled you. Whenever yeah. we, whenever we post something so weebish, he's just like, oh, oh, this this anime is pure brain rot, and I love. Well, it. I mean, he hang he hung out with Mark more recently than all of us, so <laughs> so it probably rubbed off on him. <laughs> Ah, ah, you guys. God damn it. Can't you guys be a little mature? What would be the fun in that? Yeah. Ah, I feel like that's a lot of the charm. Uh, 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 why did so, we, why we is, might need why a, was Mark uh, turning into Baltimore for a minute? <laughs> we might need a Bob ringer on uh, Saturday, Dane, by the way. Huh? Uh, well, hopefully, we're hoping that some of the people from the radio cast, uh, uh, the radio drama cast, a couple of them had COVID recently. So I hope that they're in time for the radio drama on Saturday. What's, what, what are you guys doing this at? Cartoon Cartoon Showcase. It's just going to be a collection of <clears throat> cartoon cartoons. It's like I said. If I had my brothers, I would have. I would have wanted to do the. Did you say tip? We're we're favorite. we're gonna have fun with some of them because, uh, like, the thing is, animation is a very visual medium, and some of the ones that we were do talking about wanting to do, some of our favorite episodes, are very visual gag based and don't work out for radio dramas, unfortunately. No, nope. get up. Oh no, I have Salmonella Fitzgerald. It's this battle. Super bad dude today. <laughs> oh wow, you have Salmonella Fitzgerald? I actually know how to take care of that one. Yeah, I'm the queen of scat. Because that's what my talent is. Lick a chimp. Lick crap. The chimp. <laughs> Where am I going to find a chimp this late on a Saturday? <laughs> Well, the chimp store's open for another hour, so if you get down there quick enough, best in the world. Uh, 
Anyway, okay. thoughts on Spider's Destiny 2, Dane? That was a lot of fun. I remember the first one being pretty good, and this one wasn't bad either. I was enjoying watching. Jason? Yeah, it's a very unique concept for a fighting game, and uh, I wouldn't mind seeing this sort of thing make a comeback. You know, like this odd kind <laughs> of technical martial artsy fighter, as opposed to just life bars and special moves. All right, Billy. I like fighting games. There, I said it. Thanks. Uh, uh, yeah, where, where, where the, uh, maybe the only con uh, the only criticism I would have of this game is it doesn't really try to do anything different from the first game. At least not that I saw. Uh, it, it's pretty much a carbon copy of the first game. There might be some differences that we didn't get to see. Uh, I'm sure there's extra characters that we that are, weren't the first one. But yeah, it's it's still a fun game nonetheless, even with that issue. Like it's still good. There's no no way around that. Uh, scores out of ten, Dane. Eight. Jason. Seven. Billy. Eight. I'm gonna give it an eight as well. On this edition, we played Goemon's Great Adventure, Gex Three, and Fighter Destiny Two. Best game of the episode, Dane. Gex three. Jason. Uh, Goemon. It's Billy. Goemon. I'm gonna pick Fighters Destiny two actually. Goemon wins though. Wow, uh, well divided. Yeah. Thank you for joining us on this edition of uh, Retro Roulette. If you like what we do, please hit subscribe and be sure to hit the bell to be notified of upcoming videos. For Dane, for Jason Amherst, and Billy Carter, I'm Mike Riley. Saying, see you next time on Retro Roulette.